All right, coming up next, our matchup for the UFC featherweight title. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Magic Man. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting Reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Scotiabank Arena, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the T.O. baby. Nothing quite like calling fights in front of these lines. One time I almost defended my belt in the six against Anthony Johnson. I was injured, wasn't able to compete, but Max Holloway once again showed what a champion he is by defeating Anthony Pettis in his great arena. Blocks the shot. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and might as well use it. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent for very bad. That's 
strike blocked by Lee. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Big leg kick lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Superman punch lands! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And there comes the separation now. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Oh, big head kick there. Oh, straight right. Unable to connect with the right. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one up. Oh, oh, lands, lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He got his foot on the hip, but now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. My triangle, my triangle. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes, oh, he might have got him with the choke. into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Battling for hooks. Oh, one head kick after the next. An amazing chin on this guy, but you got to think at some point here, he's going to get knocked down if not knocked out. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job blocking all incoming strikes. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right hand landing, mixing it up beautifully. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Can't take many of those. You better check. Able to check the high kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. Everything is going great. You tend to feel like you can walk through the wall. Just need to walk through the wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenues to land those shots. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Big punch lands through the middle. He's able to slip the left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, always brings his hands right back to his face. What a body kick. And both guys really flowing with authority. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Slips. Big body. Oh, oh this is the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. He got him. And we got a fight on our hand. Big ball for punch lands. Now we get back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Wow! Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Execute. He did so there. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. Oh, nice. Digging kick. Connects with a right. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Great punch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight.
condition that we did in the gym has really proven itself. That is your key to victory. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. He had it hurt. Improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just missing on the counter there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice loop and punch. How good is that right hand? Gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. And he continues to work the body here. Try to establish that jab. That D. That D hurt him. Right. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big leg kick lands. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Straight punch lands. Throws the right hand there. Liver kick. And back to his feet. Whoa! All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. up there, gain some valuable separation. And now, the grounded pound starts. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC, you gotta be careful. Back to the stand up now, both fighters upright. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Back and forth we go. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Lee gets touched by that. That kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hates to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice punch lands over the top. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Beautiful knee. He's done. He's done. 
seconds winding down in round three. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So by way of knockout, he gets it done tonight. There is the UFC featherweight champion, all smiles, no surprise there. Gets it done in a big way tonight as he wins the belt by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and steal. So there he is, the still UFC featherweight champion of the world, and he really prioritized getting the finish here tonight, successfully defends the belt, and gets the knockout that he desired. He's a great fighter. He is just everything you want a champion.